Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a hot minute and my goal for 2022 is to really be consistent with the video uploads. Last year I really got caught up in my job and didn't really have that time dedicated to making videos, but I'm now taking the initiative this year to really set aside that time and to really give back in regards to e-commerce knowledge so that you guys can be successful within the e-commerce space. Besides that, I'm really excited for today's video because I'll be talking about the importance of A-B testing also known as split testing. So if you are not A-B testing on your Amazon listing, then you are putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. There is so much value gained from A-B testing because it can mean a huge difference in sales and conversions. Even if it's two, three percent, that's going to accumulate over time. But oftentimes when you're A-B testing, you can pretty much garner a five to 10% conversion rate for a variation that is much more successful against your original. So if you're unaware what A-B testing is, it's basically taking variation A, your original, testing that against variation B, which is a change that you have implemented against your original. It's basically comparing the two and see which one is much more successful in regards to what you're measuring. So whether you're measuring a click-through rate or conversions, it's gonna give you that answer over a period of time. My suggested time of you know conducting an experiment would probably be around six weeks so that you can get that data, a solid amount of data to really gather if this was a successful experiment to see which variation has done well. So let's get into the video and let's talk about it more and I will see you guys in the next section. Alrighty guys, so some of the things that you can A-B test on Amazon include your title, your image, your main image, and the third thing that you can test is your A plus content. I highly suggest testing all three just to see what is working for you because that could make a huge difference in sales in regards to your A plus content, your title, and your image. Highly recommend especially your title and your main image if you wanted to just focus on two things, one or two things rather than all three things. So if you are brand registered through your seller account on Amazon, you actually get access to Amazon's manage experiment section. So basically what that means is you can conduct a formal A-B test through Amazon's program because that is what is offered through their brand registry. However, if you are not brand registered, that means you're just going to have to do an A-B experiment manually, which is okay as well. It's just not going to be as more definitive compared to what Amazon is offering through their program. I will show you guys the Manage Experiments tab on Seller Central, and I will show you guys how to go about it manually in case you are having to resort to that route. So let's get started. I'm on Vendor Central, but it should be similar to uh, Seller Central, but I'm gonna go into merchandising, go into Manager Experiments, and this is the section where you will be able to conduct your formal A-B test. This is the preferred method because you'll Amazon will control the population size and will control who see which version does the audience get to see. So it's a lot more rigid. It's allowing to get more definitive results in regards to your experiment because when you're doing it manually, you you don't have control over that. It's going to be harder for you to um, show which version to which audience and controlling your population size, whereas Amazon is going to do all the work for you. So you're going to go to create a new experiment and you're given the option to either do an A plus content, product title, or main image. So let's go over the product title. So I highly, highly suggest doing a product title um, experiment because your title can make a huge difference in your sales and your click through rate. So I am just going to click on, I'm just going to click on this one. So I'm just going to use this product as an example, but basically what I want to do is I want to create a hypothesis. So for example, adding easy installation to the end of my title, title will increase my glance views for my product. Basically, you're going to write your hypothesis. What exactly are you testing? You're testing that if you're going to add easy installation, the easy installation phrase to the end of your title, and you're going to see if that increases your glance view. So you're basically just um, stating your hypothesis as to what you're um, testing and what you expect the result to be as a result of that test. And you're expecting higher glance views. So it's super easy doing this. So um, Amazon has pretty organized this pretty properly. So for example, they have your version A right here, which is your original title, and then version B will be your new title. In regards to title testing, you really want to test out SEO keywords 
um, and benefits into your title because you want to see if incorporating specific SEO keywords, which one of that will increase your glance views or your conversions or your sales. So it's really important to keep doing A-B experiments and um, really conduct these various A-B experiment tests to see which title performs super well for you. And you can put in the duration, the start date, the end date, and all that good stuff. So that is the title testing and it's super easy to do and super quick and you can get your results in within 10 weeks. I do it about six weeks. I think that's the recommended so that you have enough data for Amazon to conduct a definitive result if the AB experiment was successful in regards to whatever hypothesis you had in um, inputted. So that's how you go about creating an A-B experiment test. Um, let's talk about how you can do this manually. So obviously, if you don't have brand registry and for some reason you're just not brand registered, then obviously you want to um, do this manually and it's still possible to do it manually. It's just your results are not going to be as definitive as what you would probably do if, as compared to having this A-B experiment um, feature on Amazon because there's a lot more um, factors that Amazon is controlling for you, whereas you don't have control when you're doing a manual A-B test. However, if you do want to do it manually, you would pretty much just have to implement that change and measure that change with it over that time period without changing anything else. So for example, if you wanted to A-B test your title or your main image, I would first do whether, so let's say for example, you were choosing between the two and you decided to first test your main image, you would first want to test the main image prior to doing your title experiment. So you want to get that single thing that you want to change first, conduct that A-B experiment, and once that A-B experiment is done for that main image, then go on to testing out your title. Because if you do the title and the main image testing at the same time, you're going to not know what contributed to higher conversions or higher glance views. Was it the main image or was it the title? You don't know because you conducted that simultaneously. So you would first, you know, do that you would so you would first test out your main image um, compile that uh, experiment results for about six to ten weeks your choice if you want to go ten weeks or if you want to you know stick to six weeks and see if your sales are being impacted as a role, result are you seeing higher glance views are you seeing higher sales as a result prior so compare the the changes prior to making that change and then after making that change so get the date before you had made that change and then get the date after making that change and seeing if like your sales has increased as a result, if you're getting more click-through rates. These are some of the metrics that you wanna look into. Are you seeing a higher glance view? Are you seeing higher sales as a result of the change? And are you seeing higher um, click-through rate as a result of the change as well? And so I would go into reports and well, actually analytics is also through brand registry, but if I was conducting manually, I would pull up my analytic reports and see if the date prior to the change and then the date after the change to see if there were any impacts of the um, testing that I was doing. So yeah, that is how you would go about it. Um, let me give you guys some examples of how you can of how you can um, do a smart way of A-B testing. Hello guys, welcome back to my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I, you're probably wondering, like, what are some things that I could A-B test in regards to my title, in regards to my main image, in regards to my A-plus content? I'm here to answer that question. So, for example, if you're going to be testing out your title, some things that you might want to test out is adding more benefits to the end of your title. So, for example, if your product is known to enhance youthfulness or is known to be an easy installation, like, just some benefits that your customer is going to appreciate about your product, try putting some benefits within your title and see if that improves your click-through rate or your glance views even because that might attract something to your, that might attract your customer and thinking like, oh wow, like this product is specifically easy installation. Now let me click on it and see if this product is of interest to me. Or, you know, you can also test out key SEO key phrases. So for example, it's really important to include, include phrase match key terms within your title. So test out different SEO keyword variations and see if like a low competition keyword is giving you a much better performance within your title. So those are the two things I would definitely test out within your title for a better performance in regards to what you are experimenting and looking for. In regards to your main image, Maybe you want to test out your product packaging, see if 
your product is doing, your listing is doing better with a plain product packaging or without packaging. There are some different variations that you can test regards to your main image. Um, if you want to even, you know, increase the image size and see if that works out better for you. Or if you want to like, you know, change the color or the pattern of your image, that's totally up to you. That's what AB experimentation is. It lets you test out these different variations to see what is performing the best. And in regards to your A plus content, you can just test out the material that you're implementing into your A plus content. Is it performing better when you have longer information product or is it performing better when you have shorter information product maybe you want to include more benefits about your product more features about your product or maybe even include some like Spanish terms in there because we have a large Spanish speaking population that are you know searching up in, in Amazon through Spanish and maybe having some you know Spanish phrases and terms within your A plus content is really going to target that Spanish speaking audience and increase your conversion so it's really up to you if you want to see what you think is best is going to perform for your product and these are some just uh, tips to what you can test in regards to an A-B experiment. It can really make a huge difference in sales and those conversions really do make a difference and it can make a huge difference in thousand dollars of sales to you know seeing what was not attributing to sales and what was you know giving you a disadvantage to your sales and then changing that for an increase in sales. All right guys, I wish you guys a happy February and thank you guys so much for watching my video. I am literally at 500 subscribers, which is insane to me. My goal is to get it to a thousand. So let's really, really put in the hustle to put out the videos out this year. So yeah, see you guys.